The 2020 legislative session wrapped up this weekend, but we're still learning more about the bills given the green light and how they can impact you and your family. Tonight, we continue our coverage on the state budget. Uh, the $7.8 billion budget is mostly a reflection of last year's. Some areas that saw change pre-K through 12 education and children's health insurance both got funding boosts. Public universities in the judicial branch saw some funding cuts. And despite requests from lobbyists, hospitals didn't get any extra funding. Local 5's chief political correspondent Rachel Droz tells us what hospital representatives say that means for health care amid the coronavirus pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic has cost Iowa hospitals almost a billion dollars, and though they've asked for help in the upcoming fiscal year budget, Republicans didn't think it was needed. Even us holding the line with a status quo budget, they are getting additional dollars out of that $1.25 billion from the federal government. But Democrats worry it's not enough. There was no support for our local hospitals around the state who have approached us about their financial position. Iowa hospitals have already lost $850 million because of COVID-19, according to analysis done by accounting consultants Clifton Larson Allen. By the end of June, that figure is expected to rise to $1.2 billion. The Iowa Hospital Association couldn't do an on-camera interview, but in an emailed statement, they said in part, quote, Iowa hospitals did not receive any additional funding in this year's state budget allocations. Although federal funding has provided some relief, hospitals still have significant funding gaps, and they are uncertain how the virus will financially affect them in the future. Iowa hospitals will need the support of lawmakers to ensure they remain able to provide the outstanding level of community service and response that Iowans have come to know and depend on throughout the pandemic. Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.